Mr. Beast doesn't make the most money on YouTube per thousand views, and it's not even close. I analyzed over 25 YouTube channels in a variety of niches to see which one makes the most money in 2024. You need to know two terms for this video to make sense, so I'll explain it with this video from my other channel. This channel has a CPM, or this video has a CPM of $4.84. And that CPM is cost per mil. That's how much advertisers pay to get 1,000 impressions for their ads on my videos. RPM is revenue per mil, and that's how much I actually earn for 1,000 views. The pay for YouTube shorts is consistently low at around 1.5 cents to 6 cents for every 1,000 views. On the low end, one of the videos I looked at had 53 million views and only brought in about $827. On the high end, I saw a video with 19.2 million views that had brought in $1,037. You can increase your YouTube shorts RPM if you know about these two factors. Factors. To explain this, let's look at two videos from YouTuber Ken Ryan. In the first video, he got a RPM of 2.7 cents. In the second, he got an RPM of 5.4 cents. So what was the difference? In the first video with a 2.7 cents RPM, he had copyrighted music. The second one with a 5.4 cent RPM did not have copyrighted music. Why does this matter? Well, if you use copyrighted music, some of the ad revenue is going to be split with the copyright holder. So instead of splitting the ad revenue between just you and YouTube, now the copyright holder is also going to get a cut. Second is the audience demographics. And the first video with a 2.7 cents RPM, he had 40% Indian viewers and just a 13.4% US viewership. On his second video with a 5.4 cent RPM, he had 32.4% US viewers and 18.5% Indian viewers. A good rule of thumb is that the higher the GDP per capita of the country, the higher the ad revenue for that country will be. The US had an estimated GDP per capita of $80,000 in 2023, while India had an estimated GDP of just $2,600 in 2023. The viewers in the US have more money to spend, so advertisers are willing to spend more money to reach them. Now let's get into long form videos. The worst niche I found was boxing education in Hindi. It had a 20 cent RPM. This gets into what I discussed earlier with the GDP of India. The average Indian viewer does not have nearly as much money to spend compared to the average US viewer. So the RPM is going to be lower with this. You might think it's a bad idea to target the Indian audience as a result of this, but with a population of 1.4 billion viewers, India has a lot of potential viewers. Before I tell you the highest earning niches, including the one that's making over 10 times as much as Mr. Beast, let's run through the 25 channels I analyzed and tell you the niche and how much they earn per 1,000 views. First is Oscar Owen in the magic niche. He has a $1.98 RPM. Next is Cyber Creator in the Roblox niche with a $1.98 RPM as well. Then we have Strat Gaming in the Strategy Gaming niche, which has a $2.47 RPM. Then Swamp and Stomp in the Hunting niche, has a $2.51 RPM. Daniel Owen in the Tech Reviews niche has a $2.75 RPM. Frederick Traviton in the Photography niche has a $3.20 RPM. Chrism in the Gaming niche has a $3.47 RPM. Theo T3GG in the Coding niche has a $3.54 RPM. Celine in the Lifestyle and Blogging niche has a $3.69 RPM. Ryan Maya Cooks in the Cooking niche has a $3.98 RPM. Mr. Beast in the Entertainment niche or potentially his own niche has a $5 RPM. Ali Abdal in the Productivity or Self-Help niche has a $5.06 RPM. The Zero Two Cummins Ram in the Automotive niche has a $5.17 RPM. Wick Gaming in the Advanced Strategy Gaming niche has a $5.30 RPM. The Fast Lane Car in the Automotive niche has a $6.50 RPM. Jess Salim in the Lifestyle and Productivity niche has an $8.16 RPM. Homesteady in the Homesteading niche has an $8.20 RPM. Primal Video in the YouTube or Video Production niche has a $9.26 RPM. Exploration and the travel niche has a $10.02 RPM. Taylor Bell and the finance niche has a $10.39 RPM. Alexis Eldridge in the lifestyle and blogging niche has a $12.81 RPM. Graham Stephan in the finance and real estate niche has a $14.56 RPM. Catherine Manning in the lifestyle and blogging niche has a $15.22 RPM. Spinlight Studio, who is in the 
technical music niche has a $15.44 RPM. And last but not least is Bia Heza in the finance and drop shipping niche, which has a $16.09 RPM. Now let's look at the top five highest earning YouTube niches. Number five on the list is day trading. Bia has shared this I paid Fiverr to day trade for me video. It had a $18.39 RPM. Number four is Forex trading. Again, Bia has shared this I tried Forex day trading for a week video and it had a $27.75 RPM. Number three is this drop shipping video from Bia Heza uh, titled How to Start Drop Shipping from Scratch. It had a $36.55 RPM. Number two is affiliate marketing and this how to get started with affiliate marketing video by Catherine Manning had a $58.99 RPM. Then last but not least is website building or web design. I have two videos here. Uh, the first one is how to build a website in 2024 by Ali Abdal. Now this only had a $48.68 RPM, but this other one I found shared by Patty Galloway on Twitter he didn't disclose the actual video, but it had a $61 RPM and it had over a million views. The main theme for these top niches are money and business. The advertisers for these niches are selling either high ticket courses or expensive high margin recurring revenue software. So what are the five factors that affect your YouTube RPM? The number one factor is your niche. Think about a magic channel versus an investing channel. Advertisers on the magic channel might be trying to sell a $15 coin trick guidebook where advertisers on the investment channel might be trying to convince a viewer to move their entire life savings into their brokerage account. The magic channel viewer might be worth $15 to the advertiser while the investment channel viewer is going to be worth thousands potentially. A second factor is your audience demographics. If you make Roblox videos, you're probably gonna have a much younger audience that's under 18 years old and has little to no disposable income. And again, as we talked about before, the average US viewer is gonna have more money than the average Indian viewer. So advertisers are gonna pay more to reach that US viewer. A third factor is seasonality in the macro economy. Advertising spending increases during the holidays. There's a whole phenomenon called Vlogmas where YouTubers try to upload as many videos as possible in the days leading up to Christmas because they know they're gonna be raking it in with those higher CPMs. Beyond that is the macro economy. If the overall economy is doing well, advertisers will be spending more on ads. If the overall economy is doing poorly, then they will be spending less. A fourth factor is ad density. The more ads you have in your video, the more you're going to make. Videos on YouTube that are longer than eight minutes can have pre-roll, mid-roll, and post-roll ads. If a video is under eight minutes, then it can only have an ad before and after the video. A fifth factor is video engagement or average view duration. Videos with a longer view duration are going to have higher RPMs, Again, for the same reason as the ad density, there's gonna be more ads watched by that viewer. If you're watching for two minutes versus four minutes, you're probably gonna see double the number of ads. So if you wanna increase your RPM, that's how you do it. Make better videos, increase your average view duration, and you're going to make more money. Check out this awesome graph from Pat Galloway. This graph breaks down the RPM by average view duration for a single channel. You'll notice that for videos with an average view duration between zero to three minutes, this YouTuber is only making about $2 per thousand views. The videos that average a three to five minute view duration have a $3.70 RPM. And then if you go all the way up to a 10 minute to 12 minute watch time, the RPM goes all the way up to $6.41. The main takeaway here is not to just start making a bunch of drop shipping, affiliate marketing, or other financial videos. There's a balance to all of it. Although you can make more money per thousand views, you're probably gonna get a lot less views on a drop shipping video than you are compared to a Mr. Beast style video. The main takeaway is just to make your videos as good as possible because you're gonna get a longer view duration. A longer view duration means you're gonna make more money per thousand views. You could try to switch your niche entirely and make a bunch of finance videos, but if that's not something you're into doing, then you're probably not gonna enjoy it, you're not gonna do it for the long run, and you're not gonna end up being successful. Just choose the niche you like and make the best videos you can.